The Buckdale Bison and Lafayette Leopards met for a 95th time and for a 73rd straight season on Saturday in Easton, Pennsylvania. Towards Merriweather, he'll take it at the Lafayette three. Come up the middle of the field, cut it to the outside hash marks, and get his feet taken out from under him. As once again, Van Italy, who had an outstanding game on special teams, meal to the left of O'Malley in the shotgun. They'll send Chinoweth in motion to the right. Morazic is by himself on the near side, but O'Malley looks over the middle. Now he'll dump it over the right side. It's going to be picked, and here comes the picker for Bucknell down the far sideline, coming all the way in for a touchdown. Is is that? Drew Newcomb, it was intercepted for a pick six by the Bison. And it is Drew Newcomb. I told you, I've told you I've seen the back of his jersey more than the front, and that's a great example why. <laughs> he saw the out pattern, stepped in front, and made a nice move to avoid the, the uh, quarterback at about the two-yard line and raced into the end zone for his first interception of his career and his first touchdown of his career. Malley in the shotgun sends Palumbo to the right side of the formation. He'll line up in a slot that way. Here's the snap. O'Malley under pressure. Rolls away. He'll be swarmed and sacked. Simeon Page, who had two big sacks last week against Cornell, gets it this time. Nobody blocked him. And it looks like O'Malley will be dropped back at the Lafayette 44. He'll go with a pass. Roll out. Get it complete. Here comes Jack Horan across the formation. He'll gather it in at the 35. Come racing up the near sideline before being upended at midfield. Second and six in the pistol. It'll be a quick pass. Shirlonzo out to the far side. Great block. Horan will take it for a first down as he'll race his way down to the 40 and be pushed out of bounds at the Lafayette 38-yard line. As there'll be a good snap, pointing that ball down and kicking it end over end over end is Peachin. It will take a bounce and it'll be dropped inside the five at the two-yard line. At the 35, O'Malley goes play action. He's under pressure, rolls. It'll be sacked back inside the Lafayette 25. As coming up to make the sack that time for Bucknell is going to be the Bison's Trevor Finnamore as Finnamore gets his first sack this year. And boy, the senior from Berwyn, Pennsylvania has really made his presence known, hasn't he? Here's a handoff to Wadsworth, second time he'll get it on an end around the tight end will take it for a loss of one to the 34 yard line after finishing the half trailing seven to nothing the leopards started the third quarter driving 60 yards in eight plays before scoring their first touchdown on a two yard run and he will go with the run, and here comes a first down, maybe. No, Emil tackled by Richard. What a great read by Ben as he just saw Emil pop out to his left and was able to grab him just after a yard gain. Third down and 11 now for Bucknell. Here's an all-out blitz. Cheese steps in there, fires. Great grab! First down, Podbielski, and it'll be the first completion on a third down for Bucknell today at the 20-yard line. First to 10, orange and blue. Rapidly moving third quarter. She goes under center. Could be a run blitz. There'll be a pitch against it to the boundary. Here comes Fresh Knock. Catches the corner to the 30. Leaps over a man at the 32. And he'll get pounded out of bounds after picking up 15 and a first at the 35-yard line. Chi in the shotgun. Low snap. Throws a pass. It's going to be on his knees. Catching it is going to be Buckdale's Jack Aran. First and 10 Bison at the Buckdale 45. What an outstanding grab by Jack. Third down for Bucknell at the 25 in a seven all game stretch handoff Carter runs hard gets the first down as he'll take it past the 29 to the 30 for being blasted off his feet offset eye here is a play action she gets it complete to Butler Butler sits in the zone then gets it turns to his right and able to sprint up to the 45 of Bucknell for being wrapped up by Root that time but you're right that was a quick play action quick hit and a first down Allen Butler I think that's his first grab today at the 49 of Bucknell it'll be third and six Bucknell Trelonzo in the shotgun. Here's a delay blitz. He'll fire. It's caught oh, for a first grab. down. Podbielski comes up with a huge grab. He'll be dragged down at the Lafayette 40, and the drive goes to play number 11, Kevin. Looks like it'll be an all-out blitz. Everybody at the line of scrimmage for Lafayette. Here's Chi to throw a screen. It's caught. Coming down the far side of the field is going to be the first down. Grab by Bucknell's Carter. He'll take it inside the Leopards 30, and he'll get pushed out of bounds at the 25. Boy, everybody was at the line of scrimmage for Lafayette College that time, and she had just enough time to let it loose to Marquise, and he'll grab it for his first catch here this half, and he'll take it to the Lafayette 25 with 156 left. 7-7 seven, seven game, Bucknell and Lafayette. After neither team scored in the fourth quarter, Bucknell won its first coin toss of the year. 
this to start overtime, and the rest is history. So here we go. Lafayette will have the ball at the Bucknell 25 first overtime session here in a seven all game. O'Malley takes the snap, goes to pass, has time. Now as he hit, as he throws, man is open the end zone. It's going to be picked off. Coming up the far sideline is Johnoff. Johnoff ran one back for 64. He has a block at the 40. Comes to the 50. Down the sideline to the 40. To the 35. To the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown! Colin Johnoff has won the game on a 90-yard interception return for for six, oh my, oh mighty, it's over here at Easton and Bucknell is in the thick of the Patriot League race. Kevin, Bucknell's offense didn't score a point today. The defense gets two pick sixes. It's over, baby. That's what I was just about to say. You just saw the defense win the game literally and figuratively. That was unreal. What this sideline? The sideline completely disappeared, Doug. <laughs> I am all alone on the sideline here as the Bucknell faithful are going nuts. John Ov had an interception in game number one of 64 yards against Marist. And here, over 90 yards in game number seven, he finishes the game against the Leopards. What a play, Kevin. Gee, I wonder who we'll be talking to at the end of this one.